Well, if you understand the means of production and value of labor, then that, that pretty much will definitely give you a clear idea why workers are the ones, they're the ones that pretty much make things for the wealthy to buy and to profit. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, it gives a shit if it's called communism or not. You know what I mean? It's not about that. Um, I mean, as, as, I, as, as I was saying, or as I was asking, somehow the alternative needs to be done. It, need, it needs to happen. We, you know, honestly, the, the, the state itself is, is already, it's rotten. You know, it's rotten. And you can smell it right now. You know what I mean? You can smell it in your, your nostrils. And yet, we're not doing anything about it. You know, I mean, it's like smelling garbage next, you know, right in your front door. And yet, you don't do anything about it. You know, what I mean, so you know, like having alternatives as well as, um, you know, having the the clear, basic understanding of, of why workers must, you know, workers must have power. Then pretty much we'll we'll get somewhere. You know, we it's going to take years, maybe two years or even more to pretty much understand the value of how much labor that all of us could could produce you know without without confronting these um these obstacles of syndicalism communism capitalism i mean capitalism we we must shut down i i'm anti-capitalist to the core but dealing with the the ideology trap it's just it's just a, a, a in game or in fighting um, problem that movements have always always fall, uh, fall into. You know, so let's learn the basics of economics and see if we can take power from from the capital.